former triad leader Juan Curacoy, alias Broken Tooth, leaves in a car after his release from prison in Macau December 1, 2012. Reuters to ensue a multi-million dollar cryptocurrency share offer by a Macau gaming company has the backing of one of Asia's most notorious former gangland bosses, Broken Tooth Juan Curacoy. The initial coin offering ICO planned for Hong Kong next month hopes to raise $500 million to bring blockchain technology to the world's most cash-rich gambling hub, and is closely connected to casino junket operators in the former Portuguese enclave. It would be the biggest single ICO to date. But the move by Macau Dragon Group and the Thailand-based Y Holding Company Limited is likely to face close scrutiny by regulators after links to former 14K Triad Society boss Juan, 61, emerged. Photographs obtained by the South China Morning Post and verified as genuine by sources with knowledge of the ICO show Juan, who was released after 14 years in jail for an array of gangland crimes including money laundering in 2012 at a signing ceremony to cement the deal between the two companies. The planned ICO comes at a sensitive time and follows a recent crackdown on cryptocurrencies by Beijing due to concerns over fraudulent fundraising, speculative investment and capital flight. A source with experience of junket financing said this is probably a more secure IOU than the junket's traditional handshake or one-page agreement. However, that is precisely why it is impossible to believe this will be tolerated by the authorities, they are essentially trying to use an patch to legitimize an underground activity. On Monday night, a spokeswoman for the Hong Kong Monetary Authority said the body would not comment on individual cases. Neither the Security and Futures Commission nor the Macau Monetary Authority had responded to questions. Macau crime boss Juan Guacoy known as Broken Tooth Coy walks out of Kowloon Prison in Macau, China Saturday, December 1, 2012, after serving nearly 15 years. Juan was convicted of loan sharking, money laundering and being a gang leader in November 1999, a month before Portugal handed control of Macau, its colony for more than four centuries, back to Beijing and long before the sleepy enclave welcomed international operators to build the modern resorts that have made it a gambling mecca. AP photo Vincent Yu however, the authority spokeswoman stated that the public needed to understand the features and risks associated with these activities including the company, the project and the digital token cryptocurrency involved. A digital token cryptocurrency trading platform may be unregulated and located overseas, so investors may risk losing the entire investment if one ceases operations. Earlier Monday, Chakrad Ahmed, the chief executive officer of Y Holding Company Limited, was quoted by business and gaming media websites as saying this is the first time anybody has allowed the public to invest in a public junket or become a shareholder of a casino. You are basically becoming a shareholder in a junket utilizing blockchain technology, getting revenues from that, and plugging that back into the token. Earlier this month, the People's Bank of China banned the practice of creating and selling new digital currencies and ordered the country's major cryptocurrency exchanges be shut down. ICOs have raised at least 2.62 billion yen $400 million in China so far this year, according to a Reuters report. Ahmed said the ICO would evade the crackdown because the tokens will be issued in Hong Kong, but added that the digital nature of the transactions would allow mainland authorities to track illegal outflows through the casinos. As the head of Macos 14K Triad, Juan waged a brutal war with rival triads or organized crime gangs for dominance of the lucrative VIP rooms in Macos casinos before the city's 1999 return to Chinese sovereignty. He was arrested soon after a bomb destroyed the car of Macos director of investigative police who was out jogging when the vehicle exploded and was unscathed by the assassination attempt.